are you thinking about building an ERP app? ERP apps or enterprise resource planning apps are essentially made up of all the unique functions and processes that help a business run. And today you're going to learn why we use Bubble for building ERP apps and whether it'll be a good solution for your app too. We'll talk about all the common features you can expect and more. So if you're new around here, my name is Kristen and I'm the co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps and we help business owners and industry experts build custom apps to either start their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses all without coding. So let's dive right in. If you own your own business or are thinking about building an app for businesses within your industry or within an industry that you are an expert in, Think about all the different software platforms, the databases or the spreadsheets, uh, and even the manual processes that go behind the scenes uh, in order to run those businesses. This can include anything and everything from how a business generates leads or potential customers to how those leads are converted into paying customers. In other words, the sales process and even to how a business's products or services are fulfilled, inventory management, uh, onboarding, distribution, and more. And this can also include processes that help businesses manage finances or employees, pretty much anything that happens behind the scenes of a business and involves a process of some sort can make up an ERP app. Previously, ERP apps were really only available to large enterprise companies, but because of the availability of no-code tools and platforms like Bubble, these apps are now being used more and more in small businesses as well across tons of different industries. And the purpose of them is to create a cohesive back-end operation system that brings all the different processes or apps onto a single platform for a business. Businesses with well-built ERP apps can save massive amounts of time since all their processes can be automated and contained in a single custom app. And they also save money on things like software expenses and human error. And generally, having an ERP app allows businesses to generate more money due to having seamless operations with lots of manual or disjointed processes automated and streamlined. This makes ERP apps pivotal for businesses that need to consolidate their processes onto a single custom platform specific to their own business. And at this point, it doesn't matter if your business is small or even micro because you can still build an ERP type app that will help it run more efficiently and effectively, thus freeing up your time and resources. Now we work specifically uh, with a number of clients building their own ERP apps, and most of them currently spend tens of thousands of dollars per year in software expenses alone, and their systems, or those software platforms that they're currently using, they still aren't customized to their own specific needs. That's to say ERP apps can come with a number of different features since each business is really unique, but at the core, ERP apps all serve the same overarching purposes. And fortunately with Bubble, you can create a distinctly customized ERP app that's specific to your business or industry, and that's all housed on your own platform or integrated directly with the third party services you use. And that can all be packaged up and sold to other businesses in your niche as well. If you wanna start by building the ERP for yourself first and then expand to others in your market down the road, which is something we've seen clients do before as well. Now to give you some context, ERP app features can apply to any industry and market really. I mean, you can imagine how widespread that is. You know, whether it's for a physical brick and mortar business, uh, an online services or consulting business, a real estate business, e-commerce, I mean, so much more. At the end of the day, ERP apps all still narrow down to a lot of the same core features. 
So those are usually things like third-party integrations, general automation of typically manual or disjointed processes, data analysis and reporting, customer relationship management or CRMs, and fulfillment and invoicing and payments. Most businesses with custom ERP apps, they operate in one of two ways. Either they string together a bunch of different out of the box apps that they currently use. So third party services they currently use. And they rely on these pre-made solutions that aren't necessarily custom to their business or their industry. And because of that, they have to sacrifice a lot of the customization that they really need. And what they end up doing is they piece all of these together, all of these different platforms using, using something like Zapier, for example. And you know, while this is a better solution than not having one at all, it generally leads to high software expenses, compromises on custom functionality, which usually means more manual process, processes to make up for that. Uh, it can mean connection problems with the setup and lots of troubleshooting, potentially downtime. It can mean a disjointed backend experience because every single one of those apps is different and operates differently. And that can even lead to, to difficulty training employees or team members because every single one of those apps offer, uh, operates and operates differently and requires a different type of learning curve, for example. And obviously that can lead to a lot of frustration at the end. But if they're not operating via that specific path, chances are they're just doing a ton more manual work than they really should be. And that means that they're really dealing with a lot of human error and the extra time and money that comes along with that. They're probably dealing with slow growth because manual operations just don't scale quickly. And they're also probably dealing with low profit margins because more revenue is going to payroll since nothing is being automated. So the need for custom ERP apps is really obvious. Previously though, you know, having this type of app either meant incredibly expensive outsourcing, and I'm talking in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. And, you know, at this point, because we can use a no-code platform like Bubble to build this type of app, even small businesses can now benefit from ERP apps. And whatever level you're at or whatever level of business you're building for, that's what we're talking about today is the availability because of no-code tools and using Bubble to build this type of app. Okay, so I want to walk through some of the common features that you might need and how that's gonna relate to you building those out on Bubble. So, the first one I want to talk about is third party integrations. You know, even though you're building an app that replaces the need for a lot of third party services, you generally won't want to create everything from scratch. So there is no need to reinvent the wheel if it already rolls smoothly. And with Bubble, you can use plugins to connect most of the common third party tools that you'll need. And this means that you don't have to do any of the heavy lifting on your side. But if you want a more customized option, or there's maybe not a plugin available that has that functionality that you need, um, you can always connect via API as well. And this requires a bit more of an advanced approach, but it can all still be done without you having to do any coding on your end. And the next is general automation of typically manual or disjointed processes. When employees or contractors are out in the field, for example, trying to consolidate their manual data intake, I mean, that can be tedious at best and often just simply impossible without any error coming into play. Or on a smaller scale, think of you know, all the little things you do each and every day or that people in the businesses you're building this for, that they do each and every day that are actually repeatable. You know, email, marketing, outreach tasks, for example, those all take up time, but they can also be automated to a really high level. And creating automation like this within Bubble is all 
customizable. You don't have to use pre-made browser extensions or random apps to you know, kind of automate things for you. You can simply customize your exact automation needs within your bubble app itself. And after that is the data analysis and reporting that we talked about. So within any type of business, you need to be tracking data and metrics. And not only that, you need to constantly be able to analyze that data based on your own specific KPIs and needs. And you need to be able to generate quick reports. So with Bubble, you can actually customize these functions to your exact needs. You don't need to find a third party dashboard app uh, that does it for you, for example, because you'll likely never find the exact type of customization uh, you're wanting. So fortunately, this is something that you can create yourself. And then we have customer relationship management or CRMs. Now, not all ERP apps involve custom CRMs or customer relationship management platforms. Some businesses prefer to use an out-of-the-box solution for this, and that's ourselves included, and that's fine. With an app built on Bubble, you can connect your CRM to the rest of your app to make it easy on you. However, if you do want to create your own CRM, you can. And in fact, many of our clients do. It's entirely up to you, and that's one of the main benefits here uh, with, with building an ERP app on Bubble in general, and that's that the customization is really in your hands. So then we have the invoicing and the payments. Now, invoicing is one of the big features. We see a lot of business owners wanting to customize for themselves, and this is possible with a Bubble app. As long as you have a payment gateway like Stripe, for example, that you want to use, you can let that handle the heavy lifting on the back end, and you can create your own front end invoicing process for yourself. So the same is true with just general payments. You can create your own shopping cart or checkout, for example, if you want something highly customized. I mean, the power is really in your hands with this. And then lastly, fulfillment is another big one because on the other end of the automation, the integrations, you know, the CRMs and the payments are the products or the services that, the, that your business or the business that you're building apps for that they need to fulfill on. So whether that involves creating you know, shipping labels or tracking inventory or simply onboarding a customer into the online services themselves, you can create your own customized processes for all of that and more. So we've worked with a lot of apps and different no-code platforms um, you know, over the past years, but at the core, we really like to use Bubble for apps like this because of how much you can customize and integrate. You can create your own unique database that's specific to your business or industry, and then essentially bring together all business processes into one cohesive platform. And for ERP apps, Bubble gives you full control over creating the exact type of app you need, covering everything from you know, the very front end with your sales funnels or your customer conversion, all the way to your back end fulfillment, and also including all of those nuanced business processes in between that we've talked about here. All right, so I hope that helps open the doors to what's possible when you're building an ERP or an inter enterprise resource planning app. With the points we've covered today, you should be able to move forward confidently with your app, knowing that the core features and structure you'll need are all fully possible to build without any coding background necessary. So if you learned something new today, go ahead and click the subscribe button right below this video so you can stay updated on every new video released. And if you want to take this way further, head to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash slash workshop to get started on your app right now. It's completely free. All right. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.